I'm Brenda Earl Stokes. I'm the owner and creator of Piano and Voice with Brenda, and I make creative and practical resources for singers, pianists, and music educators. I had a special request from a viewer. Um, I posted a short a few weeks ago of myself showing this cool accompaniment strategy, and I sang a little bit of Here, There, and Everywhere by the Beatles, and I got a whole bunch of comments from people saying, where's the tutorial coming for the song? So you're in luck. Here it comes today. First off, I've prepared a printable for this lesson, which you can, I've linked down below that you can get um, so that you can see the lyric sheet and the chords and the breakdown to some of the accompaniment strategies. So you're welcome to check that out um, in the description box below. While you're here, you should definitely subscribe to my channel and like the video and comment as we go to let me know what you think and what else information you would like. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to explain to you this accompaniment strategy. So first off, we're just going to start from um, the where you start the singing here, making each day of the year. I'll show you the intro later. And all you're going to do is you're going to go through and play the chords. All right. So the bulk of this goes G, A minor, B minor, and C. So let's practice that a few times. G. Um, how are we going to play this? Let me show you my cool accompaniment strategy. You're going to play the root, the fifth, the third, and the root, like so. That's how you're going to play the bulk of the accompaniment for this song. So I'm playing the first note of the chord, the fifth of the chord, the third of the chord, and the root of the chord. Like that. And then I can do the same thing for A minor. Root, the fifth, the third, the root, like so. Then I'm going to play the root, the fifth, C, it's the same thing. C, G, A, C. So practice it a few times. It just sounds so simple and so pretty. It's got that real je ne sais quoi factor. Right? So let's sing. Now, we're going to kick this up a notch, and what you're going to do is play what we just played, but you're going to play it broken. See how I'm doing that? Instead of playing them all at the same time, I'm going to go root, fifth, third, root, fifth, third, root, fifth, third, root. I mean, how pretty is that? So the next chord is F sharp minor 7, which is a minor triad with the flat 7 on top. So it's a whole step lower than the root. That's how you can remember it. And then the next chord is a B7, which is B, D sharp. I hate when Cordy does this and they tell me it's an E flat. It is so a D sharp, but whatever. Um, an F sharp, an A. But here's a cool thing that you can do that sounds so pretty. So I'm going to play my F sharp minor 7 here, and then I'm going to go to a B7. And what I'm doing is, I'm just moving the top two notes down. So for the B7 chord, here's the root, there's the third, there's the fifth, and the seventh. And it's good voice, voice leading. So I'm going to go F sharp minor 7 to B7. It happens again. Excellent. And then we're going to do the same thing for the E minor 7 to the A7. We're going to go E minor 7, 1, 3, 5, 7. And then we're going to go to the A7. See how we did that? There's the root, there's the third, there's the fifth, there's the seventh. E minor, seven to A seven, right? So let's try that again. F sharp minor seven to B seven, and again, B seven. Then we're gonna go E minor seven, A seven. And now, what are we gonna play for the A minor seven to D seven? The same thing, you're gonna play A minor seven like this, and then we're going to go to D7. So there's the root, the third, the fifth, the seventh. All right? So let's
let's try that part. Um, with a wave of her hand, nobody can deny that there's something there. See how easy that is? Not too shabby. And all my left hand is doing during that section is just playing the bass notes, just playing the root of each of the chords. Super easy. So let's do that much together. Ready? And. Should we step it up a notch? I think we should. So now we're going to kick this up a notch. Um, when we get to the F sharp minor 7 part, here's what you're going to do. You're going to play the top three notes, and then you're going to play the bottom note. And I'm doing this, I'm pivoting my wrist. See that I'm doing that? I'm going like this a little bit. but it shouldn't be too bad. So let's try this. With a wave of her hand, no one can deny there's something there. And I totally forgot the words, but that's cool. See how I'm doing that? So let's do this much again together. Seven. So go like this. I want her. That's it. It's the root, the fifth, the third, the fifth. So we're back to this again. Remember this? B flat. Just like that. The root, the fifth, the third, the root. Like that. And then we're going to go to G minor. Then C minor. How pretty is that? And then D. D. back to G minor and then we're doing C minor D7 and then it goes back to this again that's the whole bridge you guys it's like ridiculous it's so easy so we're gonna do I want her everywhere and if she's beside me I know I need never care but to love her just break it up for the bridge too why not I want her everywhere
didn't do the intro. Um, so the little bit to lead a better life, we're going to do that part. And we're going to do the same voicing strategy. To lead a better life, there's B minor. And then it goes B flat. I need my love to be here. And you can play it sort of just played like that. It almost sounds medieval. It's just like you're playing it on your lute or something. Or one of those tiny harps that the angels play. <laughs> but you're playing it on your piano. Um, so you can just go. To lead a better life. I want need my love to be here. Let's do the whole thing, you guys. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I made it up, but this is like an example of how all you have to do is keep things very simple and maneuver the chords a little bit here, a little bit there. And then you have a stunning, sparkling, beautiful piano arrangement for the song. Practice this. Take your time. Master the chords. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you tried it. And make sure you take a moment and subscribe to my channel. If you want to check out some more tutorials like this, I have an entire playlist that I'm going to um, link up here of pop songs from different eras that I've created these tutorials to. A lot of them have printables with them that you can check out. Um, definitely go there if you want to get more into singing and playing piano. If you want to know more about me, you can go to my website, pianoandvoicewithbrenda.com. There you can find out about my best-selling course, Crash Course in Piano Skills for Singers, which is still available for an introductory rate as you're watching this. It's only 49 bucks. Definitely check it out. Um, you can also check out my membership, the Versatile Musician Membership, where I have hundreds of tutorials and courses and printables and materials to help you to get beyond just scratching the surface with YouTube videos where you could really go in and roll up your sleeves and become the musician you want to be. Thank you so much for watching.